Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Marauder 2 today. Isn't she a beauty? I like that thing. It is really, really cool. It is also big and boxy and easy to hit. However, what we are doing today is we're gonna play a challenge. Yes, a challenge. I'm gonna take a 100 ton assault mech and I'm gonna take an XL engine in there. We have an XL engine 300 and I would advise you not to do it. Really, it's not a good idea. You are so vulnerable. You get destroyed easily when one of your side horses is getting destroyed and you could see how big those were. Also, we are only running 48 kph, so we are really, really slow. So thinking ahead and positioning is super crucial with the build. I have tilted my firepower to the right side, having five large lasers here. Obviously, I'm shooting three at a time only, so that I'm not running into ghost heat. And then we have uh, three medium lasers on the left side. And as you can see, we are stacking single heat sinks. The idea of that is that we lower our weight with the XL engine so much that we can, at some point, get to the break point of um, having more single heat sinks, which are better than having uh, the double heat sinks. Double heat sinks are generally better than singles. However, they take more room. And at some point, if you have enough weight and room, then you can just stack the singles and you get more heat efficiency out of that than uh, a lower amount of double heat sinks. So we have 28 external, 10 in the engine, and that's 38 single heat sinks, and that keeps the mech cold like crazy. You can shoot so often with that, although being only energy. So you will, you will see that in the games. But again, I wouldn't advise anybody doing what I'm doing here. We have the laser, uh, laser duration nodes here on the firepower tree, as well as heat, gen, and range, and cooldown. So it's a nice mid-build, mid-range mid laser build that we are doing. So therefore, the firepower tree should be the laser vomit firepower tree. I have uh, tilted my survivability into the right side here, because I wanted to have as much structure as possible, since we got some quirks and uh, I wanted to be able to accidentally overheat and not blow up a side torso. That was important to me. I also have maximum cool run, almost maximum heat containment, and I should really get maximum heat containment on that here. The single heat sinks benefit a lot from that. And then we have rated deprivation plus double cool shot plus a UAV. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Canyon Network. We are playing um, Skirmish here. Oh my god, that's not gonna be good, guys. So, this is how we do it. We're gonna shoot left, right, or let's say center arms, center arms, and then occasionally we can also do that. When we are at longer ranges beyond like five, six hundred meters, then we should probably only shoot our large lasers. Now, we also run an XL engine, so that's gonna be interesting. Did you just shoot his legs? Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, um, and we are super slow. That means we have a problem. We have a big problem, and that problem is that enemies will be in Charlie 4 high ground instantly, and Ah, oh, come on, dude. And I don't... I don't want to be there. I want to get out of there. What is that, by the way? Assault mech, assault mech, assault mech, assault mech, assault mech, assault mech. What? Are we only running assault mechs here? What is... I don't understand. What is going on here? Alright. Look at the heat management, by the way. <laughs> it is so good. It is so, so good. There's UAVs everywhere in the sky. All right, let's take one down here. I think these people, uh, oh, that was wrong. All right, we got that. What is that match? Look at our max guys. Look at them go. That is insane. We can just out damage them, out out outlive them, out everything them. Uh, I could have shot him actually. All right, let's be aggressive then. What? Uh, what? Oh, beautiful laser burn there. He's cored. And look at the heat management. It's glorious. I put my UAV up now. I'm pushing forward to the, through the center. And these guys have nothing. Come on. He's a one shot. He's also a one shot. That back shot looked so bad. Man, oh my god. I feel kind of bad for him. Yeah, it's okay. Just hit me. I have a lot of friends and a lot of armor around me. This seems so unbalanced. Wow. Wow. We are just crushing these people. Actually, they are crushing us back a bit. But only a bit. Only a bit. Uh, all right. Let's go for the big guys. This is so insane. It's actually a lot of fun playing it like this. Uh, yeah, about that. Got him, though. Hello, buddy. Oh, that's a friend. 
And that's an overheat. Alright, we power up again. Heat management is still good. <laughs> and are we about to die? I mean, are we dying? That's the question. We are about to, but are we? Ow. Um, I wanted to go to the catapult. And then there was a guy exploding left the left of me. Um, that is... Wow. This game is so one-sided. Why was it so one-sided? I don't understand. Uh, there's a catapult at last scene in Charlie 3. Let's see. Here's a UAV up now. He's probably going up on the high ground. Check out Charlie 3-ish area. Oh, left side. Charlie 2? Okay, so we're gonna go up the high ground. I heard something left of us. Some PPC connecting. So I believe he got shot by our friends. What was that? I don't know. I couldn't understand. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am XL. But is he? That's the question. Ah, oh, come on. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> this deal. <laughs> this deal. That's okay, though. So, we were about to die, actually. We took a lot of damage here. But we survived, and we had good team cohesion. I mean, everybody was in the fight here. That was so crazy. We got a killing blow, 9 assists, 718 damage done, 600 taken. Wow. With 4 kill most damage dealt and 5 components destroyed. Let me quickly check how many assault mechs we had. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 assault mechs. And the enemies had... One, two, two. That is not right. Matchmaker, go home. You're drunk. Let's go over to the next round and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold, and I think I'm going to go through the center. Although the right side would maybe better, but at the same time, I'm super slow. So getting into the center of the map and then taking shorter circles is the most efficient way to get into a good team cohesion. Let's see. Also, Alpha Strike Heat. Well, 44%. I mean, it's not Alpha Strike since I'm not shooting all of the weapons at the same time. But it's a staggered shot with all of my weapons and you get the point, right? So, now what are we doing here? We have a Vapor Eagle around us. We also have a Shadowhawk and a Timberwolf. Let me quickly assess the situation here. Bunch of Assault Mechs on the right side with a Champion as well. I see a Corsair, an Executioner and a Madcap Mark II. That's pretty solid, I would say. So, what we need now is Team Cohesion and we need to find some enemies. They will most likely come from the left side and push us hard. Alrighty. Yeah, a thousand meters. A battle master with double heavy PPC. I could have shot earlier. And I would have dealt a tiny bit of damage there. <laughs> like one second earlier. But okay. Still, we want to take the center. Absolutely. This is where I belong. Also, I'm going to take a look in the sky. Just because I want to see if enemies are bringing UAVs. Okay. Do we stay here? Uh, we might. Uh, sure. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, this is working. This guy is dead. This guy is super dead. Let's go on the high ground and support a bit more. Uh, the problem could be that all of the enemies are coming now to the left side. And, uh, we might get overwhelmed by focused fire there. Right, let's keep him pin pinned down then. That's a thing we can do. I don't like being on the front line too much here. But I also want to get into a position. This guy is running ATMs. Uh, can we take high ground somehow? Okay, let's go. Uh, uh, let's go. Uh, that rifleman is gonna be a big problem for us. And then there is again the ATM dude. Yeah, I gotta go now. Let's get the, that high ground. Let's get that cover here. Yep, 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 yep. I will take that damage gladly. That's an... Oh, that's a Vapor Eagle. Okay, okay. I got high ground. I need a bit of help, though. Can see you. Good. Good, good, good. Here's the Vapor Eagle. He's trying to engage there on the right. Um... Yeah, th this is not good. I don't have support here. Oh, do I? I don't know. I don't know, I gotta be very careful. As much as I want to be aggressive, I don't think it's a good idea. Here's the Vapor Eagle again. Can we take a side? Almost. Almost, almost, almost. Yeah, let's play it conservative here. 
This guy. Yeah. Okay, left side is clear, so we're gonna pepper this guy. Definitely dropping the cool shot here. Good, that's a kill. And that is another one. Or at the very least, a start for it. Heat level is critical. Oh, that's bad. Mmm, that's bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So far, so good, though. It's actually kind of working out. I'm getting shot now. From where, though? I don't know. This is weird. This is awkward. We get the kill. I think it's from the back, actually. So, here's what we do. We're gonna push to the front. Okay. God, we have the perfect position here. Alright, let's keep going. There's a nasty Stormcrow. I really didn't like what he did to me earlier. God, got him. <laughs> this is crazy. Our positioning here is so good. I'm very happy that I took the high ground, honestly. I'm very, very happy about it. So, 10 and 4. This is almost the last guy. There's still one dude behind us. I don't think that the Centurion will come out, will he? Yeah, he won't. He's dead. Keep that guy spotted for the moment. That was the single medium laser that peppered us earlier? I don't know. Let's see. Can we get an angle? I think I would even go Alpha Strike on this. Alright. And we could take the Alpha Strike. Alrighty. So, Marauder 2, 4A, with five large lasers and three ER medium lasers with an XL engine and standard heat sinks. You gotta be very careful with that machine. But it kind of works if you are more or less uncontested. We got three killing blows, six assists, five kill most damage dealt with 837 damage done and 269 taken with 11 components destroyed. That was your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also support me on Patreon if you like what I'm doing here. The link is down below in the description and... I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.